Reflection Leader today is the moderator of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland, Susan Brown. Thank you. Thank you to the presiding officer and to members of the Scottish Parliament for this invitation. I think, however, I did one of the very earliest time for reflections way back at the start of the Scottish Parliament's life. I even remember a wee snippet of what I talked about. We had a, a, a brown cross spaniel lab pup at the time, and I had taken her to Embo Beach, which if you haven't been to, you need to get to. And we had a walk along the pier. The poor dog, however, had not quite twigged. On the other side of the pier wall was the most enormous drop into the sea, and she took a flying leap over it. You could see the uh-oh on her face before she went for her unexpected swim. And I said at the time that as brand new MSPs in a brand new parliament, the feeling must have been very similar. The members here were stepping out into the unknown to face the unexpected. 20 years down the line, and much the same thing appears to be happening again, where both here and at Westminster, as our elected representatives, you face once more what is a step into the unknown as you follow through on the implications of the United Kingdom leaving the European Union. Whatever side of the fence you sit personally and politically, over these next few months and years, you will be responsible for shaping a new look UK. And at times, that will be exciting, while at other times it will be daunting. If not, thinking of the look on our dog's face at Embo, absolutely terrifying. Be assured of the prayers of many people of all faiths as you plan and as you make decisions. But please put at the forefront of all your thinking the most vulnerable among us. In these last few months when, as moderator, I have covered a fair bit of our country, I have seen far too many food banks and have met far too many children needing fed during school holidays. I have heard far too many stories of families and individuals left to live on thin air while their benefits are sorted out. I have talked to too many people who are homeless and because they are, have no access to the help that they need, whether that be mental health services or other support networks. Then there are those who are trying to help, but have to cope with uncertain funding and uncertain futures. I appeal to you, let's make sure that in 21st century Scotland, we truly care for all. Thank you. Thank you. The next item of business is topical questions and we